ובין העולם הבא, שנאמר ההליכות עולם לא עתיקי הליכות, אלא הלכות. חזק וברוך, בוקר טוב, welcome to the next minyan. I want to tell you uh, something I see people putting tefillin, uh, sometimes Rabbein Otam, well probably it's Rabbein Otam. So I want to just remind you that the minhag of the Sfaradim is when you put tefillin, the shel yad, you put it sitting. And the shel rosh, you put it standing. This is according to the riff and the Rambam, and also according to Kabbalah. So make sure you do it the right way. Don't be, uh, don't be looking for the other side, you know, the Ashkenazim. They, they do it, they have to do according to, they have their own minhag. Our, our minhag is not like that. Right? Do, do your according to Ati Mecha. Don't abandon the customs of your, your community. That's what, that's what it says, right? So that, therefore, you got to do it that way. Oh, try, Rosh Hashem. Try. Okay, whatever. Also, when you take it off, by the way, the Medak Takim, it says in the book Halacha Bura, when you take it off, same thing, you know? Whatever you did standing, when you put it on, you've got you to do standing when you take it off. But whatever you did sitting, putting it on, you've got to do sitting when you take it off. So this is also, you know, the proper way to do. Oh, okay, good. Okay, you know, this is the Shem, little by little. Also, I want to tell you a little bit about uh, uh, the issue of uh, Tachanun. You know, we said Tachanun today, right? Even though it's Erev Hanukkah. Why don't we say Tachanun? But Erev Yom Tov, we don't say, right? On Pesach, on Sukkot, on Shavuot, we don't say in the morning. Erev, Erev, uh, Erev Chag, uh, Tachanun. What's the reason why? Because they say, according to Kabbalah, you know, the He'ara, the Kedushah of the, of the Yom Tov comes in the morning already. You know, not like Shabbat. Shabbat comes in the afternoon, right? After Chatzot. But the he'ara of the, of the Yom Tov comes in the morning. But Hanukkah is not really Yom Tov, it's only Dirabanan. So therefore the he'ara doesn't come in the morning. This is the reason why, you understand? So we, we'd say Tachanun in the morning. Obviously at Mincha we're not going to say Tachanun, right? We're going to light the candles, that's what we're going to do. Also I want to tell you an interesting, one of the, uh, one of the com- people in the community asked this question. He's not here now, but he'll, he'll get the radio, he'll get it, he'll, he'll know what's, what's going on. So the, the question was, are you light, allowed to light one Hanukkah candle from, from the other? You know, in other words, uh, you want to do like number five, number four, number three, whatever, write, write one from the other. So the truth is, you know, that there's a big machloket about this in the, in the Talmud. If you're allowed to do this between Rav and Shmuel, there's also machloket in the Rishonim. So the halacha comes out to be like this. Halacha is that if it's, you're directly, directly lighting from one candle to the other, number four, number five, number one, number two, you can go light one from the other. Because they're both nerot shel mitzvah. They're mitzvot, all of them. So therefore you're allowed to go from one ner mitzvah to the other ner mitzvah. But, according to halacha, what you're not allowed to do is to light near mitzvah and go to near chol. You know, to go to near chol. Even though if you're lighting from the chol, another mitzvah, you're not allowed to light like that because you're going to near chol. What would be the example? The example would be, right, let's say, like a person asked me, you know, I'm going to light my Hanukkah candle, and then from the Hanukkah candle, can I light my shamash? And then from the shamash to light more candles, Hanukkah candles. So this you cannot do, even though there's an opinion like this. Big machlokat and rishonim. According to the riff, the Rambam, uh, and the Ramban, you're not allowed to do that from, to, to light the shamash and then light the candle afterwards. And according to the Ran and the Ra'avad, you're allowed to. So the halakha, the truth is, in Maran, Paskins, in the Shulchan Ruch, uh, like the other opinion, which is the first opinion that we mentioned, which is that you're not allowed to do it this way. So therefore, a person shouldn't light the shamash. Why? Because the shamash is really ner shel chol. It's not mitzvah, shamash. So therefore, you can't go from mitzvah to chol. You cannot do that. Even though you're lighting another ner mitzvah afterwards with the shamash. Shamash is totally chol. That's the way it is, you know? So therefore, you're not allowed to do it this way. Uh, okay, so, uh, the, Hashem, uh, the truth is, you know, most of the time you don't need these kinds of things. Also, another thing I want to tell you, it says in the Mishnah Bua regarding this, I saw, he says that if you're lighting, uh, if you're lighting, let's say one of the lights went out, you know? Uh, the Hanukkah candle, you lit it, it went out, the wind blew it out. So now, can you, can you light from another Hanukkah candle, that candle? So he says, no, why? Because once you already lit it one time, there's no more mitzvah anymore. So therefore, it's not considered to be near mitzvah anymore, says the Mishnah Bua. So therefore, you can't light from the Hanukkah candle and go to, to, to light the candle that already went out because it's not a mitzvah anymore. You could light it if you want, but light it from a match or something, right? Whatever. Something which is chol. But the Ashkenazim, their custom is they don't even light, says the Ramah, they don't even light from one Hanukkah candle to, to the other. They, they don't even do that. From one mitzvah to the other. Why? Because they say, you know why? Because the real mitzvah, as you know, right? We already talked about this. The real mitzvah is only one candle per day. The other ones are not really so much mitzvah. The other ones are just like, you know, tosefet, mehadrin, mehadrin. So therefore, according to Ashkenazim, you're not allowed to even light one candle to the other, even though they're both Kodesh, uh, meaning to say that one Hanukkah candle, candle to the other. You're not allowed to do that, according to, according to them. Baruch Adonai Le'olam, Amen Amen. Chag Sameach.